Hello, welcome to your video on solving inequalities um, by adding and subtracting. Uh, by the end of the video and time in class, you will be able to solve inequalities using addition and or subtraction. Um, they are very similar to how you do e e equations. Um, sorry, I was stuttering there. They're very similar. Um, the process is exactly the same. You will be trying to get the variable by itself. So you'll be untying what's tied to the variable. Um, and in other words, you will be using DC untie that phrase. Um, eventually, not so much right now, but just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, what you need to know for today is that you're untying what's tied to the variable. So let's get started. Um, when we are using addition, what we're going to do, um, what is tied? Well, I'm just going to write it over here. Um, tied, so then to untie it. Tied is subtracting 15, so we're going to add 15. Now, this is just a visual for you. You don't really have to do it. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to add 15 on both sides. And when I do that, that cancels, the left with 0, so I'm left with x is greater than, and then negative 12 plus 15, you're left with positive 3. Um, and then we're going to graph this. So 3, 4, 2, 1. Um, this is an open circle because it's just a greater than sign. And then x is greater than the 3, because remember the 2 dots versus the 1 dot. Which one ha is bigger? It's x. Um, so we want bigger numbers, so we're going to go to the right. Um, now, if you notice the note on the bottom, it says, always check your solutions. This is the way you guarantee that you're right. So if I look at this diagram, I notice that 4 is one of the possibilities for my solution, because the arrow covers that. Um, so I could pick 4, I could pick 5, I could pick 10, I could pick a million, it doesn't really matter. Um, but smaller numbers makes your math easier. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to pick 4. So I'm going to substitute in 4 for the variable x. So now I have 4 is greater than 3. And is that true? Yes, it is. So I know that I drew my picture correctly. Um, you can also check it up in the equation itself and say 4 minus 15 um, and 4 minus 15 is negative 11 and negative 11 is greater than the negative 12 because it's closer to 0. So negatives are kind of tricky in that sense but negative 11 is bigger than negative 12 because it's to the right um, and any number to the right is bigger than the previous number. Alright, subtraction then is the next one. Um, so here, how is, what's tied to the variable? Well, the 6 is. How is it tied? It's by adding 6. So we are going to untie it by subtracting 6. Okay, that's just a visual for you. So we're going to subtract 6 on both sides. And when we do that, we're left with t is greater than, and then negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. Okay. Um, and you should be at like adding the opposite there um, to find out that it's negative 10. Um, and then we need to draw it out. Okay. Um, negative 10, negative 11. Um, and it is an open circle. Um, because it's a greater than sign. There's no bar underneath it. Um, and then t is bigger because it has the two dots versus the one dot. t is bigger, so I need bigger numbers. Bigger numbers are always to the right, so that's how we're going to go. Um, and then we need to check our answer. Like I said, that's a great strategy skill to do. Um, so I'm going to pick a number that's over on this side. Um, and if I, I'm going to pick one that's um, way over here, and I'm actually going to pick 0. 
Okay, just to give you something different. You could pick negative 9, you could pick negative 8, but 0 is also um, part of that, so I'm going to pick that one. And I'm going to insert that in. So 0, is that greater than negative 10? Well, yes it is. Okay, so I know I did that graphing part right, and then I can go back up to the problem itself to see if I did that right too. Um, so here I have 0 plus 6, which is just 6, and 6 is greater than negative 4, so I know that I did that one right too. Okay, your turn to practice. There's three problems here for you. Um, you do need to solve and graph, so be, just um, be aware of that. Um, and then make sure you're checking your answers too. Um, and after you've done all of that, you can um, check in with me for the correct answers. All right, here are the answers to those three questions, including their graphs. Um, and make sure that you agree with these. If you don't, um, you need to be asking questions in class. Okay, last one is real-world situation for you. Um, the hard drive on your computer has a capacity of 120 gigabytes. You have used 85 gigabytes, and you want to save some videos you made um, to your hard drive. What are the possible sizes of the collection of videos that you can save? All right, so here's the information we know. We have 120 gigabytes. We've used 85, and then you want to add some videos on there. So 120 gigabytes is the biggest, okay? That's what capacity means. It means it can't hold anymore. Um, so that we have to um, keep in mind, and then we have 85 gigabytes that we've used, plus we want to add on those um, videos. Okay, and the the eighty five dollar or eighty five gigabytes and the videos all combined that has to be less than or equal to the one hundred and twenty. It cannot be more than that because you're the one hundred and twenty is capacity. Um, so now that we have this, we can solve it. So we're going to subtract eighty five on both sides, and then. We are left with V being greater than or equal to, and we have 35 gigabytes of space left. Um, so the videos can hold no more than 35 gigabytes um, in total. All right, that is your video. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, make sure you are bringing those to ask in class. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.